there was one point of history, and still like this in certain parts of the world, where wolves are still seen as villains, pests, enemies. Even though, in many ways, wolves are very selective with the way they hunt and the way they pursue prey, they're not just recklessly going out there to kill whatever they see. <laughs> I guess you can apply that in your life. You're not just going out there pursuing just anything, and let alone any female. Just because she has a nice body on her, you're not necessarily pursuing her for that reason. There has to be other things that stand out for you in regards to her for you to really pursue. Now, there's a difference between chase and pursue, and I'll talk about that down the road. But overall, um, think about like just in a nutshell of what I'm saying, the life of a wolf. This is how you'll be living as a wolf man, a lichen. I like them to the wolf. You'll be endangered. Your kind will be hunted down as it has been in the past. Yes, as it has been in the past. So you're rare. There's not many like you. A lot of this world doesn't like angelic. You have to be careful in the way that you even speak on certain things. Even if you see yourself as a God amongst men, you have to more or less, not live in a sub. You, you have to not live in a certain way to where people can see that there's something about you that strikes, that's that's striking, that's polarizing. You have to be very low key, very composed, just like the symphonies, the operas, and the orchestras. You have to be very composed with yourself out here, but remain endangered. You actually want to remain that way. You would love to bring back some of your kindred that have been wrongfully chased down and, you know, because even angels get killed. Yes, believe it or not. So you have to, in many ways, to defy all logic and against all lies. You have to, um, you have to pretty much just Stay low key. Now keep that in mind. Even angels get killed, but with demons, with demons, you can't kill something that's already dead. Your strength and what makes you indestructible is just from the standpoint that you don't make yourself too weak as a wolf. So you have to always keep that in mind amongst this idea that there is a side of you that is greater than the people that are around you. But you just don't show it. There's something rare about you. Something very endangered. But it must remain that way. Because this world needs to appreciate things that are rare. I mean, just like right now, the world is still at awe about the fact that there could possibly be Tasmanian tigers out there. But with that said, I mean, um, you just have to remain rare like that. You have to remain mystique you have to remain in danger it's not and I've said this before it's not that whether someone is speaking like a lone wolf or anything like that right now it's just more so that you're not just special in your rarity you come from rarity you come from a rare lineage especially representing Representing the masculine, you you are very rare in the way that you are, very much endangered. Just remain that way. Ow! Think like a man.